So, uh, I wanted to do a quick comparison of the rat rig, uh, which is like the Voron Trident, where the gantry is fixed at the top. Oh, this versus Voron uh, flying gantry. It starts at the bottom. Um, so one thing I notice uh, with the rat rig, it's doing the same patterns when I first began. When it was starting, the printer itself was shaking way more. Oh, roughly or two or three times, I could, I could feel it move a lot more. But as the uh, the bed goes down, um, because the lower center of gravity, it holds the bed a lot more stable. And there's less shakes. Earlier there's a lot more shakes when going fast. So I feel like the advantage of the Voron is that you print a lot of stuff. You know, if you don't print a lot of tall stuff, um, you're going to have the advantage of that lower center of gravity versus uh, something like this setup or a Voron Trident. You're obviously starting from the top and you can see these shakes here. They're really generated uh, by the design where it's, it's just a high center of gravity. You're just going to have a lot more shakes other than a printer that starts at the bottom, right? Well, now that said, you, you, it still prints fine. With all those shakes, I'm getting nearly flawless prints. Alright, but I'm just saying design-wise, I feel like that's where the Voron shines. Because it's, it starts at the bottom. Um, just, just an observation, I just got these machines. Uh, I just built this maybe a few weeks ago, so I'm still playing with it. Um, but definitely... The rat rig is built very well. The software works out of the box pretty good. You don't have to fiddle with it. You don't have to know about programming. Whereas a Voron, it's a mess when it comes to configuration. Uh, print star macros. All those macros are not well documented. I'll try to document it well for the future. Uh, as far as a Voron, they all, you know, that's where the value is in the software, I would say. Um, and also, they do have some good LDO motors to start you with, uh, good Rapido hot end. I can actually push this at almost 60 millimeters uh, cubed. And I think I can even push it further, but it's rated for around around like 62 or something. Uh, with TP, TP material, I can actually push to 60. With like Pet G, it's a lot less. Um, but it seems like it's like it's really built for TPU material, which what I need it for. Um, plus this this huge fan, it's loud, but it's very effective at you know high speeds. Um, so yeah, there there's always going to be advantage disadvantage to both of these printers. That's why I got both to test them out. But my Voron is test um, starting a new new print here. One of the biggest problems I had was the Z offset. I no longer use it. Um, I do highly recommend just use the Omron probe. Um, you, that's how it is on a rat rig. They don't have a ZN stop. They just use a probe and then you uh, do a probe uh, calibration. The exact command is probe underscore calibrate. Um, I'm not using a bed mesh on this. It works pretty good without a bed mesh. But I may need it for bigger objects, but I'm, I'm going to play with that definitely. It's actually printing a pretty long object right here. Um, so after I moved all my um, probe to to virtual probe, just using the, sorry, virtual ZN stop using the probe, I have uh, zero issues. Now my Z offset is perfect every time. And I'm not used to cleaning off my nozzle, like all my Prusas. Um, I don't clean my nozzle because that's what that's for the purge line and one thing that's annoying to me when I came to the Voron system they have this Z offset in the back and then I forget to clean my nozzle and then there's you know maybe a millimeter or two millimeters of nozzle left over especially with harder materials like ABS or pet G it's gonna add that one or two millimeters so it's very ineffective um, I guess you could add a little nozzle cleaner, like some people do. Uh, but seriously, like, do you really want to add a nozzle cleaner just to clean your nozzle? Or do you want to just not deal with it? So I decided to not deal with it. Um, so I just used a probe 
the Omron probe and it works flawless. I haven't had to uh, mess with the Z offset for a while now after I moved. Before, I'm, I'm always, even after I clean the nozzle, something's off. Uh, but the probe works perfect. That's how it works on pretty much every other printer I have. Uh, the Rat Rig, the Prusas. I think it's a more effective option. I guess you could go clicky probe, but that's just spending more time. You already have a probe that works really good. I mean, mine works really good. The Omnum probe that came with the FormBot. So uh, that's my recommendation. And I'm printing actually a toy here. Um, it's printing pretty well, I think. So we'll check it out. Anyway, it got kind of long. Have a great day. Uh, I'm not even sure what I was talking about. <laughs> Bye.